it's useful to be able to play a pattern using adjacent shapes. Uh, we can play the G major scale, for instance, in the second position, and to do that, and to do that, we would start, of course, at second position, first finger on the second fret, that would sound something like this. But we could also move to the third position and play exactly the same notes. So we're playing two different shapes and the same pattern. This also works uh, playing the same pattern using adja adjacent shapes uh, for both the pentatonic and blues scales, as well probably other scales too, I, I, I would assume. But uh, for the blues scale, if we start in the third position, so that is one, flat three, four, flat five, five, flat seven, one, flat three, four, flat five, five, flat seven, one, flat three, and then back down to one again, just so that I can finish that off properly. Uh, so that is in the third position. And in the first position, oh, I gotta get my flat five, though. so hold on a second, use my pinky finger for that. Flat seven one flat three four flat five five flat seven one flat three four flat five five flat seven and one. And now the trick is to be able to use two at once. But if you look first off, if you look at this, so look at the diagram, and you can see that the overlap happens on one fret. In this case, it happens on the third fret. So you're playing from the sixth string to the one string, one on the third fret, four flat seven flat three five and one uh, for your uh, G uh, blues, both of the blues and the pentatonic scale. So being able to overlap between, uh, use that overlap and move between uh, two different shapes, two adjacent shapes for the same pattern, very useful. So I went flat seven, one, flat three, four, five, flat five, four, and that was in both uh, the first position uh, and in the second position. Four, flat five, five, flat seven, five, one, flat three, one. Uh, third position and first position. So have some fun with this. It's really useful. It's, it's, it's uh, probably being able to move from one position to the next and play the same uh, scale or the same pattern is probably one of the more useful things I can think of about playing extemporaneously. Like if you wanted to play lead guitar over something, you can do all that in one position, but being able to move uh, uh, from one position to another certainly adds a lot of pizzazz to your playing. Uh, so have some fun with that. Um, adjacent shapes, uh, playing the same pattern using adjacent shapes.